We have some breaking news right now out of Atlanta, where there is an active shooter situation. The local police have reported multiple people are injured, and the shooter is not in custody at this time. The police are urging people in the area to secure their buildings and shelter in place. Obviously, this is unfolding. Uh, as we speak, I want to bring in former ATF special agent in charge, Jim Cavanaugh here. Jim, um, unfortunately, here we are again talking to you about another active shooter situation. Shooter not in custody. Multiple people injured. We're looking at some video here from the scene. What are police on the ground likely doing right now to get this shooter in custody? Well, they've got to set up their command post right there in the street. You see a lot of officers here with their tactical gear on. Uh, they've got the job. Their task today is, you know, locate, isolate, and eliminate the threat. They've got to find the shooter, uh, and right now they don't have him. Now, they don't, we don't know if they have him located or not, but what they've got to do is locate him, and that, hopefully that comes from citizens in the building nearby who have heard the shots or see the person, and they'll call 911 to help the officers locate him. Once they locate him in a room or a building, they can isolate him, squeeze him down, get the perimeter secured, and then they can evacuate behind him. So they got to locate him and then evacuate behind the officers, and then they can deal with the threat, eliminate the threat by arrest or if they have to shoot him or if they can talk him into surrender, whatever. But uh, So that's the process that the on-scene commanders have to deal with. This is a, a heavily trafficked area. Right now is lunchtime. What's the biggest concern here on the ground um, for the people to stay safe near the scene? Yeah, well, a guy in a building like that, you know, in downtown Atlanta, Lindsay, you know, we've all been around Atlanta a lot. And, uh, you know, getting a high-rise building can bust a window out. Could be shooting people on the street if he loses uh, targets inside, if people run and hide. Um, of course, officers can deal with that, but the question is it takes time. So you have to, you know, he can get off shots at pedestrians on the street a uh, block away or two blocks away if he has a rifle. So it's a very, very uh, dangerous situation at the moment in downtown Atlanta. Everybody in that area has got to really lay low, get uh, uh, hidden, get, you know, don't be peeking up through the windows. Curiosity killed the cat. You know, lock yourself down, get your loved ones locked down. Get on the phone to your loved ones, listen for, wait for police commands, monitor the media. Don't be running around trying to see what's going on because, you know, the killer might be able to see you. Let's like, give the police a chance to locate him, isolate, and then eliminate that threat. I mean, this is, you know, so eerily familiar to so many situations um, that we have been in recently. Right now we're showing you a map of where this is taking place. I mean, we have... You know, Highland Park uh, last summer, that, that parade, July 4th parade um, on, a, on a city square. And, and Jim, right now as we're looking at the screen, these are new pictures um, that the police department there have tweeted out of the suspect here, um, the person that they're looking for. You can see here that this is taken via surveillance video, and we see a suspect here in a face mask and a hoodie. It looks like maybe some kind of backpack around the front of them. Doesn't necessarily look like tactical gear. Um, and I'm not also certain if we necessarily can see the weapon or if it's sort of camouflaged against the dark pants. But, Jim, as you look at these images here, what's standing out to you? Yeah, I can't really tell about a weapon there, Lindsay, uh, but he could have a handgun if this is somebody who's shooting. A handgun could be in the bag, uh, could be hidden there by his jeans. I don't see anything in his left hand, so he might have, you know, hidden it by the bag. The bag, though, looks heavy, uh, maybe full of ammunition. Maybe he has a handgun. But, uh, you know, that's still, you can kill a lot of people with a handgun. You know, the killer at uh, Virginia Tech had two handguns and he killed 32 people. So don't discount the deadly effect of a handgun in proximity to people trapped in a building. Um, you know, it may preclude his, you know, distant shots. And, you know, he's going to lose the gun battle if he gets involved with Atlanta PD. But, you know, the question is, can they do it quickly? You know, we just saw the whole Texas slaughter, and we're dealing with a really rural area where deputies have to respond over many, many miles, and it takes a lot of time. And here we're in one of America's major urban centers, Midtown Atlanta, and you get a very strong police response, a lot of officers there right away, and they can deal with that. But they also have, you know, large buildings, and those buildings have rooftops, they have basements, they have offices and nooks and crannies. They can connect to other buildings, there can be alleyways, so it presents other challenges to them.